I think as we heard Jesus talking at the beginning of that gospel, we were hearing Sam, Sue, Ryan, Bartholomew, Susie. All of our names were being told, go out and proclaim to others the good news. The kingdom of heaven is not something coming in the future. It's right now. It's right now. What is it that we are going to take to others? The gospel is very clear right at the beginning. He says, cure the sick. Raise the dead, drive out demons, cleanse the lepers. I don't think any of us are walking here with leprosy. But what does he mean when he says, cure the sick, drive out demons, cleanse the leper, raise the dead? Cure the sick. How can people who are physically sick, physically have difficulties, how can they be emotionally strong enough to carry out the faith maybe that we have. How can they practice it? That's something I think for all of us to reflect upon in our own lives. How do we bring the good news to others who physically suffer from some handicap or some difficulty? And I think all of us know in our lives, people, or at least a few people, in such a situation. How do we raise people from the dead? <laughs> you know, we're not God. We're not God. We're not uh, Peter or anybody and Jesus and say, you know, get up and pick up your mat and walk. We're not going to do that. We know that. But those that are spiritually dead, those who suffer from being pushed aside, those who suffer from addictions, those who suffer from serious emotional handicaps in their life, how do we bring the good news to them? Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Maria Goretti. And Maria Goretti, who died at the very young age, actually was murdered, stabbed to death, I think of it, of thir- at 13, forgave her own assailant. So much so that after his time in prison, he came out and went to Maria's mother to ask for forgiveness and was present at her canonization in Rome, I think it was 1980. Forgiveness. How do we bring that forgiveness into our life today? Particularly those that are close to us, those that maybe have hurt us. How do we bring that to Raise them from the dead or raise ourselves from the dead by seeking the forgiveness. Curing the leper. You know, leprosy is a disease that's been pretty much healed throughout the world. But the leprosy in us, the addictions, the habitual sin, do we seek reconciliation frequently? Do we seek direction? Do we seek help to overcome those parts of us, those imperfections, or maybe those serious sins in us that hold us back from a greater relationship with the Lord? Drive out demons. Do we drive out the demons of temptation, the things that we know lead us where we don't want to go? Do we really sincerely work at overcoming those habits. In today's Liturgy of the Hours, Pope Pius XII, at his canonization of Maria Gretti, said, Parents can learn from her, Maria Gretti, how to raise their God-given children in virtue, prudence, justice, temperance, courage, and holiness. They can learn to train them in the Catholic faith so that when put to the test, God's grace will support them and they will come through undefeated, unscathed, and untarnished. So Hosea was talking about in the first reading, bringing justice to all people, particularly those that don't have it. How do we bring justice, bring peace to their lives? Not all of us are expected to die a martyr's death, but we are all called to the pursuit of Christian virtue. This demands strength of character. Do we have that strength of character? Do we exercise it? Do we, are we able to say no to situations in our lives? A constant, persistent, relentless effort is asked of us right up until the moment of our death. Sisters and brothers, let us in our hearts and our minds realize that the kingdom of heaven is right now in our own lives.